After a long and dry fall, including a nasty wildfire season. We actually have some very good news for those of you affected by the Thomas fire. We're tracking this storm system from the Gulf of Alaska that's going to be diving down and impacting much of California. And we all get wet. The entire West Coast. So the weather is about to get active. So it's going to become quite unsettled. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a bad, funny feeling about this upcoming Sunday night through Tuesday storm that is going to hit California and technically the entire west coast of the United States up into Canada. Stay cool. Wave after wave after wave. But here's the thing. This is a Thor News presentation. Certainly feeling a bit cooler. Thor News presents. Parts of California are getting the first significant rainfall since the weekend of Thanksgiving. We're finally getting a shift in the pattern. That ridge that has been sitting there in keeping California and Arizona, New Mexico so dry, is finally shifting out with this trough, and that means rain in the forecast. So this is good news for these folks. It is good news that there's water on the horizon in the form of rain. However, we also remember early last year when we had all the flooding as a result. So this is kind of a double-edged sword. Yeah, remember this in Sacramento? This is what I'm talking about. So there is going to be rainfall on the way, but there is a twist to all of this. We're concerned about some flooding even. Uh, especially in the areas with the burn scars. The problem is those burn scars are incredibly vulnerable to seeing mudslides and debris flows. Okay, this is going to be a vigorous storm system with quite a bit of precipitation, so we are going to be talking about some major impacts. California has had a rough several months with the largest fire in California history here, uh, the Thomas Fire. I know you guys remember it. It's actually still not fully contained. So while, yes, it will likely make the Thomas Fire at 100% containment, there is still a risk to come with this rainfall and, of course, the snowfall at the higher elevations moving in. So it's fairly dry today, but again, we're going to be really ramping up into storm mode here with widespread rain. Monday becomes much more widespread. Moisture supply, pretty abundant there. This is primarily a Monday and Tuesday event. But really the heaviest action is going to be down to the south for this early week storm system. So the amount of moisture and available precipitation to kind of get squeezed out of the atmosphere is quite great. And so we think this is going to be a lot of rain in a short period of time. Seattle and Portland will be especially wet later in the week. Somebody commented that the media was blowing the storm out of proportion. And I was saying, look, dude, I'm sick of weather. I'm sick of covering weather. So if I'm covering it, that means I feel it's necessary and lives can be saved. And look at this situation here. This is now. This is total cloud water. So this is our giant storm. And this is our next big storm. So technically, the West Coast is going to be getting moisture coming from the north and, uh, and the tropics. So yeah, probably going to be bad. I mean, look at that. So I'm almost Alaska down in Mexico. Baja. And then it looks what's following it. And then look. Look at that, man. What is there to oversell here? That's crazy. And look. So this is the situation we're monitoring. West Coast, you are definitely on top notch. Thor news, weird weather. High alert. All right. Everybody stay cool. I didn't want to show you the mean sea level pressure. Oh, yeah. That looks bad. And there's our Alaskan volcano, like in here. And we've been getting earthquakes. We had another 4.6 to 5 today right off the coast. So... We got situations. We got situations. Whereas the Weather Channel is predicting one to five inches of rain, this map usually sometimes undersells the rain. It's saying anywhere from four to 7.5 inches of rain all along the coast. So that's going to cause big problems, especially after all the fires. So I just want to give everybody an extra heads up and alert. It will begin tonight and last for about two days. So when we look at on here, it don't look good. It don't look good at all. That's a lot of rain. Actually, let's go to. I mean, here you have the majority of California covered. That's on the 8th, which is tomorrow. And then we see some heavier rain amounts. That's on the 9th, which is Tuesday. Then the entire coast is wet. And then the rain keeps coming through in pretty heavy bands. So, and continues to push on through. And clears out about on Wednesday. And on Thursday, Washington, Oregon, Canada, going to get hit pretty hard through Friday. Next one comes on Saturday. On Tuesday the 16th. Then we have another big one on Wednesday the 17th. Giant one on Wednesday the 17th for Northern California, Oregon, Washington. And then the next one to hit California will be on Friday the 19th. Look at that wave. Look at there. And then it will be on the 21st. Like I said, this is going to be the new wave after wave after wave active period. We actually got a low. It's going to smash into Southern California on the 23rd. And that's where this model stops. So I'm just trying to give everybody a heads up. It's about to get super wet. 
super mud slidey and just think man lady dude alien whatever we have had a lot weird severe weather in the last six months hurricane season was in august bro we just got hit by a winter hurricane on the east coast it's time for everybody to wake up we got problems people we got to come together all right i shall now get to work on my east coast storm video and then i'll do a video on volcanoes thank you all very much have a great sunday once again i'll remind you it's a thor news fundraiser weekend if you appreciate all my hard work i will leave my paypal link at the top of the information box my patron is there you know if you want to give donate five dollars a month two dollars a month one dollar a month every little bit helps we are about to have an extremely active january and february it's kind of like a winter hurricane season so it'd be nice if i can just concentrate on making videos and not have to worry about paying bills because i give my all almost all the time and dude i'd like to take a break from doing weather videos seriously but right now it seems like everything else is a distraction you know all right peace out stay cool wait one more thing but stay cool man enjoy life while we're here for sure Smoke on you got him. Pan a cuddle. Why not? But stay cool, man. Yep, that looks nasty. All right. God bless everybody.